One of the things you have to do as a line producer is budget a movie. And so when a movie comes to you from a producer who has a project, uh, the first question usually to ask is, what, what's the budget for it? How much money do they have? How much money have they raised? Or realistically, how much do they think they're gonna be able to raise so you can budget? A lot of times in the independent world, you're gonna be backing into a number. So the producers tell you, we have $2 million to make this movie, so you're gonna back into a $2 million budget. Or they'll have $5 million, you're gonna back into a $5 million budget. Now, budget is broken down into three levels. Um, when you look at a movie magic budget, once again, is just the industry standard, but there's other um, budget and programs as well. And you're going to see there's an above the line, there's a below the line, there's a post, and then there's other fees like contingency, completion bond, all determined by the nature of your film. So once you look at a budget, the budget too is broken down on Movie Magic into three layers. You have the top sheet, which is all the numbers uh, summarized by category. And then from there, you move into the account area, which breaks it down even further. So in the case of locations, you'll have uh, areas for your location manager, for your location rentals, for your permits, etc. But the final way, uh, chunk down is to the detail level and the detail level is we, where you actually put in the numbers so you have those three levels and you start in the detail level and you start to build your budget and you start to put in numbers now some of this you can learn from looking at other budgets some of it you can learn from um, reading books on budgeting and some of it you learn from asking people who've had experience what are the numbers how do you budget what's the rates and then you have to make determinations is it a union shoot is it a non-union uh, crew shoot and that'll determine some of your rates. But one of the things that you have to collaborate with your producers on is what are the above the line costs? Because that's a big chunk. How much has been agreed or committed to the producers, which is above the line, the writers, and is the writer a uh, union, a uh, uh, writer's guild or not, to the director, is the director a director's guild a member or not, uh, and then finally your cast, how much is committed to your leads or would they like to commit to your leads? So those are the big areas above the line that you get your information from the producer, plug it in, and then you start to work on below the line based on how many days you're gonna shoot the movie. Obviously, uh, the more weeks you shoot, the more expensive it's gonna be. So if your budget's smaller, you're gonna have to squeeze it into a shorter shoot. So those are just a lot of, uh, a lot of information, and, and it's, uh, there's a lot to learn in it, but it's, uh, you learn by doing. And when I first did my first budget, uh, it seemed overwhelming at the time, but little by little, all the pieces started to fall into place. And now I've probably done hundreds and hundreds of budgets. So it becomes uh, kind of second nature after a while.